Late replies ships with a ton of useful presets that are great either on their own or as starting off points to modify. Now, I'm going to start by playing you a drum loop, and we'll try some of the rhythmic presets. I'm going to turn it on. Okay, that's nice. Next one. Next. All right, these all sound nice, but they're kind of out of control, and I need to modify some of the parameters. Now, there's a great feature in Late Replies that allows you to lock certain areas of the interface so that they don't change when you're switching between presets. So let's go back to the one we started with here, and I'm going to set some of the parameters. I actually want more of the wet signal. I'm going to lock it so that it remains when I switch presets. We can lock the input as well. I'm going to leave that at neutral, though. And I'm going to lock the bass delay at quarter notes, but lower the inertia time. I'm going to click the lock icon. And let's get this under control with the ducking. All right, that's good. Now I can lock this so that this ducking will remain when I switch presets. And finally, the output control can be locked as well. So here it is dry. And now with the modified preset. So with these elements locked, one, two, three, four, and five, and of course you don't have to lock all of them, I can step through the presets and hear them with these settings. A lot more under control and an interesting kind of variety with a similar type of feel so I can audition presets with the type of sound I'm looking for. Let's modify this to an eighth note and change this a bit. And now these will remain in their new position as I switch through these. So it's a nice way of getting variety out of your presets. I've got a Rhodes part and I want to create a long tail and then use the ducking to create a kind of sucking effect where all the replies that are generated are kind of ducked and then come back in and out for a rhythmic kind of effect. So I have this on a bus and I'm sending to it and I'm going to start by locking the dry and wet signal with the dry signal off so it'll preserve the actual off status here. Here's the part dry. A bit of reverb. And I'm starting with a preset here. And I'm going to go through a couple. Okay, they all sound nice, but they're a little out of control. I'm going to go back to the first one that I started with and it's in tempo sync and it's bubble sixteenths and let's set some settings now i think i like the two beat setting here for the bass value so i'm going to lock that and i'll just put the inertia down so we don't hear that gliding pitches between the different presets when we switch and let's start experimenting with the ducking stop some amount And I like this down a bit, so I'm going to lock the out. Let's listen in context. So now I can scroll through the presets, preserving this dry wet mix, the bass delay value, the ducking settings, and the output level. And I'll lock the input as well, just to keep it neutral. It's a nice ambience 
but that rhythmic kind of sucking effect that I like. And I can go through the presets and get different qualities to that thick tail that's generated. Here I've got a bass part and I've got late replies on it and I want to try some modulation presets. That's nice. So is that. Let me get into some flanging. Okay, those all sound nice. But I want to use it a different way. Let me go back to the initial preset over here. I'm going to put it on. And first, let's dial down the wet mix. I don't need so much of it. And I want to try using it in a rhythmic kind of fashion. I like the plugins that are called up to create the modulation. But I want to hear a bit of a rhythmic delay. So let me lock this so that we're somewhere around there. And I'm going to set this to sync to the host at quarter notes. I'll put that down again and let's lock that. And let's set up some ducking. Let me play this and we'll hear what it's generating. Yeah, so I need to control it. So I'm getting some of that nice modulation, but with a bit of rhythmic delay yet tamed because it's a busy rhythmic part. I don't want it too out of control. And now let's go through those presets with this locked in. Let me lock this, and I'll lock the in and out levels as well, in case they're set to change. That's interesting. I might do a bit more ducking for this. Late Replies is also great for some crazy reverb style effects with long tails or short tails. Here's an example of a preset on a vocal that I have. I'm biting my lip not to say your name now, there's lots of great ways to modify this. This is not sync to tempo. We can make this a tighter, shorter reverb by lowering this. Here it is, bypass. And in. Or a longer tail. And of course, we can play with the spacings of the repeats to get them more spread out. I'm biting my lip not to say your name. Tighten now we can call up different presets here. Same and, it's over. and the grid is based, of course, now on this over. length that's set here. And we also have different spacings of the replies do, that we can get from here. Nothing I won't do, nothing I won't do. Nothing I won't do, nothing I won't do. And it's over. It's another setting that I like. You're telling me it's over. I'm biting my lip not to say your name. Tighten my grip. And again, we can space these as we want. And, it's over. and lower this for a tighter series of reflections. And there's nothing I won't do. Let's dial it up. And then we can adjust the tail. This has some interesting presets as well that we can use. A little out of control. Let's duck it.
So those are some ideas on how you can get the most out of using late replies, presets, the lock icons, and some of the settings available here, here, and here. Mm-hmm.